In this video, we'll be covering the system checks process with Proctor Exam. We'll run through a recording of the full system check process, the common Apple Mac issue fix, contact for support if you're having issues with your systems check, and how to start your exam on your exam day. The following video is a recording of the full system check process. A few days before your exam, you will receive an email from Proctor Exam. The three steps in this email are what need to be followed to set up your exam. The first step is to download the Proctor Exam Chrome extension. Click the link here in step one. The link will take you to the Chrome Web Store and you'll see the button that says Add to Chrome. Click the Add to Chrome button and then click the Add Extension option in the pop-up window. Chrome should now show you that the Proctor Exam extension has now been downloaded. You can now close this tab. The second step in the email is the completion of the system checks. This needs to be done at least 24 hours in advance of your exam in case there are any issues with your system. To access the system checks, click the link in step 2. The link will take you to the Proctor Exam system check site. You can choose to go through the system check with a translation, however it is recommended that you do the system check in English. When you're ready to go, click the next button in the centre of the screen. Make sure that it is your name displayed in the centre of the screen, and then click Start System Test. The first test is of the microphone. It will ask you on screen to say something or make a noise into the microphone on your computer. As you make the noise, the sound bar will move up and down. After a few seconds of making sound, you will move on to the next step. When the microphone is registered, you'll get this option. Now click Next. The next step tests the speakers. You should be able to hear some music coming from the speakers on your computer. If you can hear this music, then click Yes. If you cannot, click No. Once you've confirmed that your speakers work, you're ready to move on to the next step by clicking Next. This next step will happen automatically. The System Checks website will check your upload speed. This may take a few seconds, and when it is happy, it will allow you to click Next. Next is to check that your webcam works. Now on certain systems, Chrome may not already have access to your webcam. When this happens, you'll see a pop-up window in the top right-hand corner where it will ask you if Chrome can have access to your webcam and microphone. You will need to click Allow on this before continuing. When your webcam is working, you should be able to see an image of you in the middle of the screen. As soon as you can see that image, click Next to proceed. The next stage is to install the mobile app on your smartphone and connect it to the Proctor Exam platform. To do this, you'll need to access the App Store on your smartphone. The process here is shown on iPhone, but it will be very similar on Android devices. First, access the App Store and search for the Proctor Exam app. Make sure it is the app with the red logo seen here and click Download. The download button could appear as a button that simply says download or the cloud with the arrow as you've seen here. This download could take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your download speed. Once the app is downloaded, click the open button or find the app in your app list on your phone. Once on the app, you'll see the blue scan QR code button. Click this. A pop-up may appear like this one asking you if you would allow Proctor Exam to access the camera. You will need to click OK on this. Once the app has access to your camera, you should see it appear just like the camera app. It should be using the back camera on your phone. Point the camera at the screen and center the QR code in the middle of your computer screen in the box on your phone camera. The QR code will then automatically scan and take you to this screen. The app will then display that your camera has been successfully detected by the computer. In 10 seconds, your screen will then go black and in the exam, this will minimize battery consumption on your device. Now that your phone has been successfully set up, you can turn your attention back to your computer to continue with the system check. Close the pop-up on screen by clicking the OK button. In the center of the screen, you will be able to see what your phone camera can see. During the exam setup process, you will need to do the QR code scan again, so make sure you keep the Proctor Exam app downloaded on your device. When you're ready to continue, click the Next button. The final part of the process is to do a screen share. 
The app should automatically produce options for sharing your screen. For most devices, you will only have a single option for sharing the screen. You need to select the one that you're going to be using for the exam. Select this one and then click the share button. If the screen sharing works, it will display great screen sharing works and you'll see your screen in the center of the app. Click next to continue. And that's the final part of the registration process. You will then see a message on screen saying you've successfully registered for your exam. You will now be able to close this page and you should receive another email shortly with access to your exam. Once you have fully completed your system checks, you will now be able to close this window. We're now going to run through an issue that we commonly see with learners who have Apple Macs they're using for their exam. During the process, you may find that the Proctor Exam's system checks cannot find your microphone, camera, or the screen share. To fix this, you will need to do the following. Click on the small Apple logo in the top left of your screen. Select System Preferences. In the first bank of options, the final one should be Security and Privacy. Click on this. Within Security and Privacy, there should be a scroll menu on the left-hand side with a number of options. The first important option is Camera. Click on this, and you need to make sure that the Google Chrome option is ticked. The second important option is Microphone. Click on this. Same again, the Google Chrome option needs to be ticked. And finally, lower down in the list, the screen recording option. Click on this. Once again, the Google Chrome option needs to be ticked. Now, for example here, we will untick Google Chrome. If you did come across this issue for any of the options for microphone, camera, or screen recording, you would need to do the following. Click the padlock in the bottom left corner of the window to make changes. You will then need to enter the password for the Mac or MacBook. This should just be the user password you use to log in. Click unlock, and you should see the padlock unlock in the bottom left hand corner. Click to tick Google Chrome. When you do this, it may ask you to quit Google Chrome, in which case you will need to start the system checks process again by clicking on the link from your email. When you have made sure that Google Chrome is ticked for microphone, camera, and screen recording, Click the lock again in the bottom left hand corner to prevent further changes. You can now close the security and privacy window by clicking the small red dot in the top left of the window. You may come across other issues during the setup process that need more specific support. Whilst on the Proctor exam system checks, you will see a red chat window in the bottom right hand corner. You can click on this at any time to chat with tech support. You will need to select an option from the How Can I Help You menu and then click Start Chat to chat with an advisor. You will also see in this chat window that they have a link to their troubleshooting guide. Click on this to see frequently asked questions and common issues that you may come across. If you've been through the troubleshooting guide and spoken to technical support at Proctor Exams and still require support, please contact the email courses at healthandsafetytrainingfirst.co.uk or give us a call at 0330 122 6126. We're now going to run through how to start your exam on your exam date. Shortly after completing your system checks, you should receive a second email that will have a link to take your exam. On the exam day, you will need to make sure to follow these steps. Have a copy of your photo ID ready for when you take the exam. Your exam time slot will open half an hour before the time we have arranged. If you click the link within that time frame, you will be able to access your exam immediately. And when you click the link, you'll come through to this page. When it's time to take your exam, you'll click the Start Exam button and you'll go through a step-by-step -step process of how to set up your room, computer and yourself for the exam you're about to take. If you do have time, I recommend clicking the link at the bottom of the screen there that says Do's and Don'ts so you can best prepare yourself for your exam. Once again, if you do require any further support with the Proctor Exam process, please email courses at healthandsafetytrainingfirst.co.uk or give us a call on 0330 122 6126.